Hey guys, uh, so here is part three to my arrangement of Busker Busker's First Love. Uh, this is the pre-chorus. So uh, let's get right into it. Um, we first start with a basic F chord, but um, it's kind of fingered differently. Uh, we put our thumb around and we fret the first fret of the low E string with our thumb. And then the A string really doesn't have anything uh, to do with this chord. Yeah, you don't really need it for this chord. So um, I mute it with my thumb as well. So I kind of, as I'm fretting the low E string, I'm just touching. I'm just touching the the A string, so that no, no sound comes out of it. And I finger the third fret of the D string, uh, second fret of the e G string, first fret of the B string, and then I do a third fret on the high E string. And then uh, for that chord, I just roll it with my fingers, kind of like a fan. Just fan it out. And then on top of that chord, you want to keep that chord ringing. And then uh, after I play that chord, I do a bass drum hit. And I slowly move towards the fretboard because we're going to have to start doing harmonics over here. Uh, but anyways, after that hit, that bass drum hit, we play the low E string first fret. And then we do the third fret, we put our third, we hold on to that chord, I guess. Well, I mean, I, I do because um, there are like, there's resources there, I guess. Uh, if you get to say there's because uh, you're already fingering some stuff so um, you know it's just convenient to just hold it there um, I finger the third fret of the B string now and I play that along with the second fret of the G string and then I let go of that third fret on the B string and I play the first fret of the B string with the second fret of the G string and after that follows a bass drum hit and now the harmonics come in uh, we first start out with a 12th fret harmonic on the open high E string. And then I play the 3rd fret of the A string. And then I hammer onto the 5th fret. But the cool thing is that as I'm hammering onto the 5th fret, I finger the 5th fret of the G string. And I play a 12th fret harmonic for that 5th fret on the G string. I'm going to be referring to um, harmonics, I mean, these kind of harmonics, the fret harmonics, as 12th fret harmonics or 7th fret harmonics. And, um, and what you basically do is I'm going to tell you where to finger, finger with your left hand, and I'm going to tell you where to hit it with, with your, pluck it with your right hand. What, I'm, what I mean by 12th fret harmonic of the 5th string is I'm playing the 12th harmonic of the of the fifth string so like uh, i'm not sure if you guys remember but um every fret that you're fingering is kind of like a bar or like this nut is moving forward uh, so if i would if say that i was fingering something i would call that the zero fret uh, uh, just i mean when i do harmonics and if that's the zero fret then the 12th fret harmonic would be 12 plus 5 so it would be 17. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just just the basic concept of it. So as I'm doing the hammer on, I'm, pl I'm, pr I'm plucking a harmonic. And then we move down to the low E string, third fret, pluck that third fret and then hammer on to the fifth fret. And if, while I'm hammering on to the fifth fret, I'm playing the 12th fret harmonic of the open D string. And then I pluck an open low E string, and then I hammer on with my thumb to the first fret. And then I pluck the first fret of the B string with an open G string while I'm hammering on to the first fret of the low E string. And then I kind of do like a little strum here. Um, for me, I do like I strum downwards with my middle and ring fingers, and then strum upwards with my thumb. Kind of like a nail attack strum kind of thing. 
Okay, so that whole phrase would sound like this. Okay, so um, if we move on, uh, we go to this next chord, which is basically a G chord. But uh, that first chord, um, we're uh, for this one, we're, we're leaving out the A again, like the the F chord we did before. Um, uh, zero on the D, zero on the G, three on the B string, third fret, and then we do an open high E string, and then you know the th third fret of the low E string. And then I pluck upwards with my index finger uh, on the third fret of the high E string, and everything else is the same. I kind of do, do half of the chord. I do a nail attack on the same thing and then I pluck the high E string open and then third fret of the B string and then high E string again and then I do a bass jump and then I put my uh, finger back down third fret of the high E string and I play the 12th fret harmonic of that and then I play a D an open D and then I hammer on to the 2nd fret of the D string and while I'm doing that I'm playing the 12th fret harmonic of the 3rd fret of the B string and then I'm playing the open A string and then hammering on to the 2nd fret and while I'm doing that I'm going to play the 12th fret harmonic of the 2nd fret of the D string So, um, oh yeah, and then after that we play the high, I mean, I mean the, the open A string, and then hammer on to the 2nd fret, and while I'm hammering on to the 2nd fret, I'm playing an open high E string, and then doing like a little strum thing again. If you do that, when you do that, um, it doesn't really matter if you hit the B string, by the way. Um, but I would recommend hitting the G string by accident. Try to keep it more, uh, when you strum, try to keep it on the down more, where these two strings, the highest two strings, highest two strings. So this would sound like this. Okay, so uh, if we move on, um, I finger the 8th fret of the high E string with the 10th fret of the B string. And I kind of roll that. Kind of like how the other. No. I'm rolling, I'm gonna roll that. And then I play the 10th fret of the high E string. And then I do a nail attack on the 12th fret of the high E string. And then 10th fret again. And then 8th fret of the high E string with an a high E string with an A, yeah. They say that. Oh, yeah. And then I play the tenth fret of the B string. So tenth fret of the B string. Palm um, bass drum hip. And then I go to the I do the twelfth fret harmonic of the fifth fret of the E string. And I kind of bar the these two high strings on the fifth fret because I'm gonna need both of these harmonics. So I do like a little mini uh, one third bar, I guess you would call it, um, on the high, high E string and the B string. And I play the 12th fret harmonic of those, the high E string. And then uh, I pluck the second fret of the D string. And then I, I hammer on to the third fret. While I'm doing, I'm playing this, the 12th fret harmonic of the fifth fret of the B string. And then I I play the second fret of the A string, and I uh, slide to the third fret of the A string like that while I'm playing a third fret twelve a twelve fret harmonic on the third fret of the D string. And then we do the open low E string, and 
the Namron with our thumb while we're playing, while we're plucking the first row of the B string and the G string. And then we do like a little strump thing again. And then we play the first fret of the B string with an open G string um, and third fret of the low E string together. And then we only play the third fret of the B string. And then we do nail tech on, on those two strings, the high E string and the, the B string third fret. And then we play the third fret of the B string. And then we play the low E string third fret. And then we play the high E string. And then we do a nail attack again on the same strings that we nail attack before. So I'm just gonna play that for you guys. Okay, and then we get into this Roscaiado part, which is basically um, a triple strum. Uh, I guess, I guess, I guess, I guess it's the triple strum. I mean, um, or maybe the quadruple, I'm not quite sure. I mean, but in this case, we're strumming four times at once. Uh, so what I do, I mean, no, we're doing three times at once, sorry. Um, yeah, so it is, it is triple, it's triple strum. Uh, what we're basically doing is, we're uh, well, this is the way that I do it. There could be other ways. If you want to look for other ways than my ways and comfortable for you, then you can um, definitely, you should definitely go online, YouTube, and look for other ways to do rasciado. Um What to do this is, um, what I do is I use these two fingers, uh, middle and ring fingers, and I go downwards, and then I bring my thumb downwards, and then I pick my thumb upwards. So slowly it will look like this. And then you could use a metronome or something, or uh, just keep practicing that, and then uh, you'll start to get used to it, and then you you can start playing it faster, and then faster, and then what we're playing here is the, uh, we're playing the G string, uh, no, not G string, low E string, third fret, I block the A string, uh, uh, with my uh, ring finger here, and then D string open, uh, G string open, third fret of the B string, and then I kind of block the high E string with my pinky too. And we would do that four times. After that, we move on to the the chorus. So uh, just I'm gonna just play for you guys uh, the pre-chorus one more time. Uh, first slowly, and then I'll do I'll try to do regular speed. Oh, sorry, I'm gonna do that one more time. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys something. Um, I actually do finger the A string for the last chord of the Roscaiado. I did the second fret. <laughs> Completely forgot. Um, I'm gonna play for you guys uh, fast now. <laughs> pre-chorus of uh, First Love. Uh, 
yeah, so if you guys have any questions, um, please feel free to email me uh, to my email. Um, also, you know, you always have the comment box below. <laughs> um, if I, if there if you had trouble understanding something, yeah, please let me know. Uh, and also, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna be making more tutorials and stuff. So if you guys have any uh, any um, comments, feedback, or anything like that, you want me to change or something, you wanna. Or if you want to get a different angle or something like that, um, please let me know. I mean, yeah, I, I want to try to uh, be able to teach you guys um, as thoroughly as possible and so that you guys can actually be able to play this. Uh, so yeah, uh, thanks so much and I'll see you guys next time where we'll learn the chorus uh, of this piece. Thanks.